Hi, my name is Jen Luddy and I'm a nutritionist with Apta Club and today I'm going to show you how to safely prepare your baby's bottle feed. The Department of Health recommends that we breastfeed exclusively for the first six months of life and to continue breastfeeding along with appropriate foods up until two years of age and beyond. However, if you cannot or choose not to breastfeed, then infant formula is the next best available option. Before you begin formula feeding your baby, it's a good idea to speak to your healthcare professional for their advice. So before you begin, it's really important to make sure that everything that you're using, the surface and the equipment, is clean and that you've washed your hands and dried them with a clean towel. So you also need to make sure that your bottles and your teats have been sterilised first according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Make sure that you always read the guide on pack before you begin making your baby's bottle feed because they can vary for some specialised formulas, so do check or contact us if you're unsure. So to begin, you need to boil one litre of freshly run water and then once that has boiled, you need to allow it to cool for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the water is going to be at around 70 degrees and that's the ideal temperature because it's hot enough to make sure that any harmful compounds have been destroyed, but it's not too hot that it will affect any of the nutrients in the milk. So once the water has cooled for 30 minutes, you just open up your bottle, take your water and you fill that up to the seven ounce mark. So for a seven ounce feed, we need seven ounces of water and seven scoops of powder. So then you take your infant formula and using the scoop provided, take a scoop of the powder, level it off and pop it in your water. So we do that with the seven scoops. Make sure that you don't pack the scoop too tightly and that you always level it off because that way baby will be getting exactly the right amount. So when you have your seven scoops in, just seal up the bottle and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds to make sure that all of the powder has dissolved in the water. So then once it's all dissolved, you need to cool down the feed. So if you remember, this is at 70 degrees, so it's far too hot for baby. So you need to cool it down. And the best way to do that is to hold it under a cold running tap, but make sure that the water doesn't go above the neck of the bottle. Or you can put it in a bowl or a jug of cold water and you just leave that to stand there until it is cooled down. So once it's cooled you just need to test the temperature to make sure that it's not too hot. So to do that you just open up the bottle and let a little bit drop on the inside of your wrist. So it should feel lukewarm, not too hot and then that's the ideal temperature for baby. So this bottle, once made, will last for two hours. So if baby is a slow feeder, or if you have any milk left after the two hours, you need to discard that and start from fresh. And while it's best to make each feed from fresh, you can make up a batch in advance if you need to do so. So to do this, you make up the bottles like I've shown you here today, and then you can keep those in the fridge for up to 24 hours. So you need to store those in the back of the fridge, so not in the door, as it's opening and closing throughout the day, the temperature can change. And then once you take those feeds out of the fridge, you can warm them up, but don't use a microwave because hot spots can occur. So you can just stand the bottle in a little bowl of warm water to bring it up to room temperature. And then those will last for two hours once they're out of the fridge. And again, if you have any feeds left after 24 hours and you have them in the fridge, you need to discard those and make up a fresh batch. For more helpful tips and advice like this, visit us at afterclub.ie.